Hello everyone and welcome to our educational channel, Matinik at Ang Musikero. We is always willing to serve and entertain you as our valued viewers. And what matters most is that we are also delivering quality mathematics education for all. So stay tuned and please do not forget to subscribe our channel, Matinik at Ang Musikero. By the way, this is your host in this channel and you can call me as Sir Dan for short. And to proceed to our lesson for this video session, our discussion in this session is all about the preliminary concepts of Differential Calculus Part 1. And as your presenter, I am actually hoping that this session of ours would be of great help to all of you as math learners. And to start our discussion regarding about the preliminary concepts of Differential Calculus, let me introduce first our objectives in this session. At the end of the chapter, the students would be able to state the definition of calculus and its importance in problem solving. Know the steps in applying the three-step rule in order to determine the derivative of a function. And for our third objective, Determine the derivative of a function using the three-step rule. After introducing our objectives in this session, let us now proceed to the different definitions of calculus. Calculus deals with finding the different properties of integrals and derivatives of functions. And it is also based on the summation of the Infinitesimal differences. Calculus is the study of continuous change of a function or a rate of change of a function. It has two major branches and those two fields are related to each by the fundamental theorem of calculus. Wherein these two branches or two different branches are actually the differential calculus and integral calculus. Let us now proceed to the different basic definitions of differential calculus. Differential calculus is a branch of mathematics concerned with the determination, properties, and application of derivatives and differentials. Differential calculus also deals with the rate of change of one quantity with respect to another. And then we also have the differential calculus basics. That for any given value, the derivative of the function is defined as the rate of change of functions with respect to the given values. Differentiation is a process used to find the derivative of a function. And now, what do we mean when we say functions? A function is defined as a relation from a set of inputs to the set of outputs in which each input is exactly associated with one output. The function is represented by f of x. Let us now have the dependent variable and independent variable. Independent variables are the inputs to the functions. They define the quantity which is being manipulated in an experiment. Let us now consider an example. y equals 3x. Here, x is known as an independent variable and y is known as the dependent variable as the value of y is completely dependent on the value of x. Let us now proceed to domain and range. The domain of a function is simply defined as the input values of a function, and range is defined as the output value of a function. Take an example. If f of x equals 3x be a function, the domain values or the input values are 1, 2, and 3. Then the range of a function is given as f of 1 equals 3, f of 2 equals 6, and f of 3 equals 9. Therefore, the range of a function will be 3, 6, and 9. 
let us now proceed to the limits. Limit is actually an important thing in calculus. Limits are used to define the continuity, integrals, and derivatives in the calculus. The limit of a function is defined as follows. Let us take the function as f, which is defined on some open interval that contains some number says a, except possibly at a itself. Then the limit of a function f of x is written as limit of x approaches to a, f of x equals L if and only if given e is greater than 0. There exists d is greater than 0 such that 0 is less than the absolute value of x minus a less than d implies that f of x minus L is less than e. It means that the limit f of x as x approaches a is L. And for our next term to be defined, we have the interval. An interval is defined as the range of numbers that are present between the two given numbers. Let us also have now the classifications of interval. For our first classification, we actually have the open interval. The open interval is defined as the set of all real numbers x, such that a is less than x and less than b. It is actually represented as a and B inside parentheses. And for our second classification, we actually have the closed interval. The closed interval is defined as the set of all real numbers x, such that A is less than or equal x, and x is less than or equal B, or more concisely, A is less than or equal x, and less than or equal B, and it is represented by A and B inside brackets. Let us now proceed to the importance of derivatives. Derivatives are actually important tools or fundamental tools of differential calculus. Derivatives can actually help us to show the rate of change. It can also help to show the amount by which the function is changing for a given point. And for one important information, the derivative expressed by dy over dx, or simply called the slope, is used to measure the steepness of the graph of a function. It defines the ratio of the change in the value of a function to the change in the independent variable. Graphically, a derivative is also defined as the slope of the tangent that meets at a point in the curve or which gives derivative at the point where the tangent meets the curve. Differentiation has many applications in various fields, checking the rate of change in temperature of the atmosphere, or deriving P6 equation based on measurement and units. In the same way, there are differential calculus problems which have questions related to differentiation and derivatives. And that's the end of the part 1 of our lesson and session. Please stay tuned and watch the part 2 and continuation of our discussion. Again, this is Matini Katang Musikero Channel. Thank you so much. God bless us all and please let us always remember that God is great. God is good.